Hey guys, what's up? It's Amina. So today we are in Unity Park and I'm going to show you guys everything that this park has to offer. I am doing a voiceover today because honestly I wasn't feeling good this day and I didn't I didn't do a good job vlogging. But shout out to Elias because without him this video wouldn't be possible. So thank you Elias for recording everything so let's go through the day as soon as we entered into unity park we were met with all of this amazing mother nature and the views here were honestly amazing breathtaking as you can see as we entered we walked through and depending on which way you take most of the time you're gonna like reach this little cave area oh and one thing they give you this map which shows you a whole like outline of the park so that you don't get lost because it is really really big okay but anyways, we walked through this cave area and basically you can go around and see different things. These windows will show you like different animals, birds, lion, etc, etc. So there is a part in here where actually they are showing the black mane lion. Okay, I know it doesn't sound cool, but ask yourself this question. Have you ever seen a lion with black hair? no you haven't because actually it's very rare and you can only find it in ethiopia that is something very cool that i got to see and after that just walking through the rest of like the cave area and immediately you're just hit with all of these amazing beautiful stunning views you can see like on the right side they had like a turtle house and then on the left side they had a camel house like literally I didn't see it until I saw it. It's a camel house. It looks like a camel. You know, I thought that there were camels inside, but no, like literally the house looks like a camel. Honestly, the views alone just make it worth it to come here. Like if you don't care about anything else, just come and see the views. <laughs> As you can see, we found this really cool seating area with all these little single seats. And you can see me and Elias just chilling here, taking some pictures, enjoying the amazing views. I mean, you can see like a 360 kind of of the park. You have the city Addis Ababa in the back. You have the camel house, the, the turtle house, all of these beautiful plants and mother nature. And I won't get into plants too much because I know most of you find it boring, but I actually love plants. But they have some very unique plants here as well. I won't talk about it though, guys. I know. But then they had some famous people painted on the wall here. I shouldn't say famous. I guess I should say some historically prominent figures of Ethiopia. One thing I'll say, is it just me? But Ethiopian historical figures, like they're they're all very, very handsome. <laughs> okay. Another great view of the city and on camera, like you can't really see the city of Addis Ababa as well as it is in real life. It looks really, really beautiful. So next, walking along down this path, you get to see two very, very historically prominent places. On the left here is actually the banquet hall and on the right is the throne room. And I know it sounds like boring, but I'm gonna show you guys, these are really cool. These are actually where they have those wax figures of Haile Selassie and Menelik II. So we're gonna go inside. We walked over to the banquet hall. This is an enormous place. I was surprised by the size of this hall. Basically, uh, this hall was built during the reign of Emperor Menelik II, and it was just used to host banquets. Sometimes they would have 8,000 people imagine 8,000 people in here okay look at this place like I don't know if you can gauge the size of it it was huge so so huge and preserved very very well here they have some really like cool artifacts I think this was like a Tej container if you guys know like the Ethiopian drink Tej like look at how big these glasses used to be that can you imagine Tej filled up in that glass? That's really big. <laughs> so they had some old artifacts over here that you can see. So this is the wax figure of Menelik II. Surprisingly, not very many people actually know who he is or what he did, but he is a very important person in Ethiopian history and African history in general. Uh, I can't really say his whole story in this video, but 
shortly, you know, the reason why Ethiopia was never colonized is largely due to this man that you see right here. So yeah, very, very important. Moving right along. Now we went up the stairs and we actually went to see where they keep the wax figure of Haile Selassie. As you can see, there is me standing there thinking I'm like the queen or something. You know, it was just a very uh, powerful moment for me. I'm not gonna lie, like, I felt like very good. <laughs> I felt very powerful standing up there in that moment, like looking down on everything. As we enter, guys, this place is so beautiful. I'm not even exaggerating. Like, the colors in here, the curtains, the wall color, the gold on the white, like everything is just like, I want my house to look like this. Like it is so beautiful. There is the famous Haile Selassie looking fine as ever. He's probably the most famous Ethiopian that most people know about. Most people know the name Haile Selassie, especially if you know anything about Jamaicans or Rastafari. So yeah, but he did a lot of things as well to help modernize Ethiopia. The same with Menelik II, it's way too much for me to try to explain in this video here. So we're just gonna keep going. This is really cool. This is actually Emperor Menelik II's crown. Look at how big this was. Like, and when you see it in person, you're like, how can somebody wear that? Is that like 50 pounds? Like, <laughs> that's the hat that he used to wear. It's just really cool that they still have these things preserved. And then finally, we have a close up of uh, Haile Selassie. But yeah, it was really nice and surreal to say. And I must say, the wax figures looked very, very real. It was kind of eerie in a sense that how real they looked when you go off into like one of the corners uh, they have this whole like presentation on different religions in ethiopia as you can see here like interfaith dialogue ethiopia celebrating judaism christianity islam just all living in peace together which i really appreciated you guys love to judge me so much about religion and i just wanted to especially include this part to show like look at ethiopia showing judaism christianity and islam like just celebrating each other that's all that it's about the more interesting thing to me actually was that they had this little exhibit area on the sideline and they had the queen of sheba so i wish that you can actually hear the conversation that me and my sister were having but we were talking about who is the queen of sheba where is she from because yemenis claim she's from yemen ethiopians claim she's ethiopian and we actually had this conversation before we came here so when we came here she was like amina look read that and it gave like the history of how and why she could the queen of sheba is from ethiopia and i was like all right you know you got me i think you're right i think she is ethiopian like Let's just settle this once and for all. They have a nice history. It wasn't just that little black thing that you see right there. Like if you keep on going, they had more and more things about the Queen of Sheba, the courtship, as you can see. They have the birth of Menelik. So all of these things like showing proof that the Sheba or the Queen of Sheba is actually from Ethiopia which was very very cool to see. Here you see me writing right here. They had a guest book like where you can just kind of sign your name. So if any of you guys go there I literally signed Amina and Elias and I wrote a little message and I put this is Amina and Elias from YouTube so if any of you guys see that please like take a picture and send it to me. That would be hilarious. Okay, so now we went underground. This is the basement. And the thing that I found so intriguing about this, this is a jail cell. I was like, what? This is a prison? Like, especially the, if you compare it to how jails look in Ethiopia today. Why was it so modernized back then? You can see these doors were individual jail cells. And they kept prisoners down here. And it was like cool in the sense of like, look at this technology that they had back then. But then it also like you felt like eerie because you're like, wait, this was a like a prison. This is where they kept prisoners. There's a lot of stuff that you can read that I'm not going to spend too much time on. But there's actually a diagram as well over here that you can see where they had showed the basement here. 
and they should they have all of the prisoners names along with their cell number also i would like to say like that if this was only used as a prison i guess during the dirk regime specifically so yeah anyways then we walked and we got to see menelik's palace you can't go inside of it unless you get like a special tour but this is basically the watching tower and then you have Men menelik's office here you have his bedroom reception room and a lot of other things so we didn't get a chance to go inside of it but you can just see from the outside how it looks and it's a really really beautiful really beautiful so yeah and then there you have like a glimpse of one of the first automobiles in ethiopia which is pretty funny the oldest car during the reign of emperor Haile Selassie the first there you go so funny oh my gosh all right so next we came to the unity park zoo so one cool thing is that they actually have a zoo where they feature a lot of rare animals that you can only find in ethiopia and i don't know the names all of, of all of these because they are rare and unique okay <laughs> we headed along down this path and the first animal that we got to see is a meerkat and for those of you guys that don't know, just think Timon from The Lion King, you know. I don't love to make Lion King references when I'm talking about Africa, but <laughs> I know a lot of people from the US don't know what a meerkat is. So yeah, that's what it is. And then just like walking along the path, you kind of go into this aquarium next. Now, the aquarium, I'll just say, was nice it's not as like grand as aquariums here in the u.s so it's kind of hard to judge but you don't compare that's the thing you just appreciate it for what it is so they had this this whole like walkthrough was just uh like four i believe four three or four aquariums and there were some cool fishes like these little polka dotted ones down here they were like are they are you living in a pot how does that work like that was pretty cool to see but yeah then when you walk out of there you come along and then we went and we saw these beautiful peacocks these are some beautiful peacocks like look at all of the colors the green the blue the white the turquoise like they really are beautiful and i wish i could capture one of them like spreading their wings because it's amazing but i don't think i got that on camera Anyways, next we walked over here and we got to see these beautiful cheetahs that were just chilling. And honestly, they looked like they were just over it. <laughs> but yeah, I never saw a cheetah before in my life. So this was very interesting to see. Over here, we had some unique, I don't remember the name of this animal, but I know that this is unique to Ethiopia as well. And you can see like the spots and stuff like how you could tell, like it looks very unique we walked over some more and we got to see white lions this is another thing that's so cool so in the beginning of the video i showed you guys the black mane lion now these are white lions they're all white there goes the the male lion you can see because his fur is so long from this angle we got a better angle of the white lions here i mean they literally look like this is my turf like they intimidated me <laughs> and i was on the outside you know this is the the lion that i was telling you guys like look at her well, as soon as i saw that i was like she looks like she's about to attack somebody and there was a worker as you can see and like i don't know what he did if he was playing with her or what but immediately she charged i was scared <laughs> i was like oh my gosh but i think that's something normal that they do so yeah, walking along, I got to see some monkeys. You guys know or don't know that I love monkeys. So they were also like yelling. They were sounding like humans. Like they were yelling like human like babies. And I was like, who is yelling like that? Oh, that's the monkeys. What? <laughs> Why? She just scared them. <laughs> Walking right along, we got to go to this aviary entrance where you get to see more birds. So you walk around here and you get to see a whole bunch of different unique birds. This one looked cool. I was like, this bird literally looks like he has an afro. I love it. <laughs> 
So yeah, walking along this circular path, this area was kind of like a dome. It had like a net going to the top and it had all of these really, really cool birds. Some of them were flying on the top, like almost in the sky. Some of them were down on the ground. Some of them were eating. But you get to see like a lot of different unique birds. I think they had some rare birds in there as well. And you know, just make sure not to get bird poop on you, like what happened to my brother in law. Sorry, Futsami. <laughs> in the bird's defense, however, he put his arms on the railing, which already had bird poop on it. The birds didn't actually poop on him. So, yeah. <laughs> We walked through Bilo's pastry before we came down and got to see giraffes. I know giraffes are big, but sheesh, until you see them in person, you don't realize how huge they are. Their neck alone is like 100 feet long. <laughs> you can see these two giraffes. Aww. That's me and Elias. That's Amina and Elias <laughs> hugging each other. Next, we got to see these zebras here, which were so beautiful. Uh, it was actually pretty funny because they kept running back and forth and back and forth. I'm not sure if they were like scared of the ostrich coming by because she was a huge bird, okay? She was like almost as tall as a human. <laughs> or if they were just having fun and running back and forth. I don't know what was going on, but it was just so funny to see them. And then um, as you walk out, this is kind of like when you're leaving, even when you're leaving, you still get an amazing view. So even when you're leaving, they have all of these little areas that are set up so that you can celebrate and learn about different ethnicities in Ethiopia. So it'll like start off with maybe like Lalibela, Somali region, like and just it goes through a whole bunch of different ethnic groups. That especially I think is important today because we need to learn to like respect each other's differences but also celebrate them. You know, we can, it's okay to be from a different ethnic group and celebrate it, but we don't have to be divided. That's the overall message here. You know, it's about unity. You know, it's about loving and appreciating and learning from each other. Yeah. So that's just us walking out and kind of quickly like going through all of the different ethnic areas it was the end of the day so we really didn't have that much uh time to like go through each one but there is just so much honestly you would have to come here like during the morning time to fully absorb everything that this park has to offer because it is truly a lot pretty much that was the end of our day at unity park so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video this will be like my one and only voiceover i really don't like the sound of my voice okay <laughs> but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you get a chance if you come to ethiopia definitely take a visit to unity park and experience it for yourself you definitely will not regret it it will be well worth your time and experience and actually if you get a chance you should hire a tour guide especially if you are a foreigner because you will learn and absorb so much more if you have a tour guide telling you what things are instead of just looking aimlessly at things and not understanding what they are so i definitely recommend like just paying a little bit extra and getting a tour guide but yeah that's it for this video i hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys in my next video bye